In this video, I'm showing you how to download Shortcut Video Editor. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button, and then go and leave a like as well. So in this tutorial, I'm showing you the full process of downloading Shortcut, installing it, and then going and creating a project. So if you're ready for this, let's go and get into it. I'm now on my computer, and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is you go and download the Shortcut Video Editor. You simply open up a search browser. Now I'm personally using Google Chrome, and I'm using Google. So we're now on Google, and I'm gonna simply search for Shortcut, just like so and then it's going to take us to Google and you want to come make sure you come to shortcut.org and just because you know the site do keep watching as I'm showing you the full installation guide as well so then of course it tells you a ton of information about shortcut um, and loads of sort of quick start guides and other bits like that but we're going to go and download it so as you can see it says shortcut is a free open source cross-platform video editor click to download so I'm going to click there and then it takes you to this page here now, as you can see, there are a few different versions here. We've got site one, which is FossHub, site two, which is GitHub. These sites are basically hosts where you can host files to download them. So I'm gonna personally use FossHub and you wanna get the installer. You can get the portable zip file, um, but the installer is just easier to run. Basically, there's less to um, unzip, of course. So go click on Windows installer and it's gonna take you to the FossHub. And now it's going and downloading. So we'll continue to wait. It's around 80 megabytes. So anyways, it's now finished, so let's go and run it. So all you want to do is click it. You, you may get a Windows cookie pop up, which I just did there, um, which my screen recorder doesn't record. Now, as you can see, we have the license agreement here. So I do recommend you do read through this. And once you have, go and click I agree. And then you can choose where you want it to be saved. And then you can go and go and basically set these options here. So as you can see, it says remove all program files, install program files. And then you can go and choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut and a few other bits. So I'm just going to go and click install and now it's going and installing it. So this shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's just a normal installation, just like any old program installs on your computer. So we'll continue to wait for this and uh, I'll catch up with you once it's finished. So it's now completed. As you can see, it says completed. So I'm going to go and click on close and then it's, it's literally it. We can quit off Chrome and then all you want to do is come down to your search button down here and simply search for shortcut just like so. And then as you can see here, shortcut. Here we go. We'll click there. And it's going to go and start opening it up. Now it's going to take a bit longer the first time we do it. Now as you can see here we are in Shortcut. Now I'll be quickly be running through the basics of how to create a project as well. So as you can see we're under the new project. So you want to go and choose where your project folder is. So I'm just using my videos uh, folder. And then you can go name this. So I can name this Tutorial Tucker. Just like so. And then you can choose video mode. And that's got an automatic. But you can change it to manual. And you can choose any of these. So I want it to be 1080p 60fps. So I'll click there. I'm going to click start. And then here we go. We're literally all ready to go and start creating content. Then all you want to do is start bringing in your clips in here. Your audio. And you can start going and creating content. Honestly, it's so, so easy. And if you click files, you can see there's a few other things as well. Like the exporting. But that's literally it, guys. Honestly, it's a really, really simple um, program to use and it's really really good and it's a simple process so if you did find this video useful please go down below and hit that subscribe button leave a like for more i'll catch you in the next one peace